Noah Judd here at the joint. Great barbecue in here, yeah! Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, it's time for you to eat with me, Louisiana Barbecue, at the Joint Barbecue, which is some of the top New Orleans barbecue. The Joint is located in the Bywater neighborhood of New Orleans at 701 Mazant Street, which is about seven minutes and two miles away from the French Quarter. This is the second location of the joint. They originally started a short distance away on Poland, but now they're at the intersection of Royal and Mazant Street, so that makes them pretty easy to find and very near to their original location. So, they have a lot of parking in the area on the streets and some wide open spaces surrounding them, which is unusual in this area of New Orleans. So, as we begin to look around, the joint has a smoker right here in the front, but then their main smoker is inside behind this gate right here. And they're hard at work with their main smoker here, so they can travel and they do do some barbecue festivals. So, right now, they're only doing counter service due to the COVID-19 situation. Uh, they've gotten actually more restrictive with their ordering process as time has gone on, even when the New Orleans restrictions have lessened. So, they do have some specials today. I have some jalapeno cornbread I might check out. And then they have a good selection of drinks to go. So, we're here in December 2020 here, and uh, we will progress through and look around at what this place used to be like. We were able to come in here and order inside during my last visit but they've become even more restrictive since then and now you have to order from the outside instead. So on my last visit you can still get your to-go order and bring it out here in the patio to eat it, but not now. But they do have tables and chairs set out in front of the building that you can use to sit at and eat as of my last visit. So they do have a really nice area back here and plenty of heaters to keep people warm on the colder days that we sometimes have. Uh, but overall, this is a great little spot, and here's the back side of the smoker here, looking from the patio. Then we're back inside, looking around in the main dining room area. So it's not the largest space, but they definitely pack it in here during normal times. And we'll show you a little bit of the footage from normal times. During normal times, there would be lines out the door. Sadly, currently, this is how it looks in the COVID times. Mostly deserted, and you can't even come in here as of my last visit in December. So, I do miss coming inside and enjoying some of the great barbecue. Now, here we are back during normal time. It's just packed full of people. This lawn that you go to will frequently extend out the door. Now, one pro tip and super local secret that you can't tell anybody else is you actually could just sit at the bar and order with your bartender and avoid the big long line of tourists that would often form. So if you grab a bar stool, that's a good way to skip the line. They also did all kinds of delicious pies back before the pandemic. And it was really pleasant also just to grab your order and on a nice day, sit outside on the patio as they do have a lot of seating here during normal times. So there's fans for the hot days and heaters for the cool days. So it's a nice little space back here to really enjoy some uh, special time on a patio. And the bathrooms are also outside here, right there in the back. You see those two doors? Those are the bathrooms back that away. So it's a nice space overall. And uh, now we're back to current time where we can't even go in there. We can't sit along on the outside. So I got the burn ends for $22.24 with a bit of a tip belt in there, but you can provide a little bit more of a tip. So here we are, I'm opening the potato salad, and I got a side of the coleslaw, and I uh, decided not to get the cornbread special, and just got the normal toast that comes with it that I'm not even gonna eat, probably. Because I'm not in a bread mood, I'm in a meat mode, because they have some really delicious burnt ends here. And uh, this is the normal sauce. They also have a vinegar sauce I like uh, to put on top of my food a lot. I really like the vinegar sauce on top of my coleslaw, actually, too. All right, let's dig into these burnt ends. Ooh, these are some of the best burnt ends I've had in the New Orleans area, so I would put them 
at the very top. So there are some other places that do burn ends, but on average, I find the ones here at the joint to usually be the best ones. The joint generally also has uh, some of my favorite brisket. Um, Central City Barbecue and the joint are always competing neck and neck for that number one spot. Any given day, they both have a little a variety of how they cook things, so any given day, one or the other could be the top. Just like I'm destroying these burnt ends, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, and I really would appreciate it, and it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm, and thanks so much. So the burnt ends already come with a sauce on them, so they're already really moist and delicious. So um, the only thing I will add to them typically is a little bit of the vinegar sauce to give them a little more of a uh, tart kick to them. Uh, but all I got was the normal barbecue sauce, which is good, and I will uh, put that on there. Um, for the longest time, they just served the uh, barbecue at room temperature on the table, and then they started serving it cold, which was not very good, and then they took to serving it really warm or even hot, so um, they were doing some variations with their barbecue sauces before the uh, pandemic situation hit, but the burnt ends are still consistently good. So I do really enjoy these really amazing chunks of delicious meat. They're perfectly smoked and they have a fantastic smoke ring and they have just a great combination of tenderness on the inside with a little crust on the outside, exactly the way I love my barbecue brisket to be. And it really is all the best things of a barbecue brisket all in one wonderful package. It's really delicious. It's just got the perfect amount of fat and lean and tender with a little crusty in there. And it's really delicious. So this is uh, really a huge serving to give you too. The uh, serving of the burnt ends, I find, is generally substantially larger than even the brisket. So the brisket is often large with the serving they give you for the entree, but the burnt end serving is, whoa, it's hard to finish for me, and I can eat quite a bit of meat. And barbecue is something I can easily take a lot down of, but with the burnt ends played, I often can uh, go with some leftovers at the end of the meal. Look at this huge chunk of meat here. This is a fantastically large and delicious chunk of meat. And uh, this plastic fork is not an easy tool to work with. And uh, somehow there was no plastic knife in my little uh, utensil bag. So I'm having to go full caveman style. And it's uh, quite delicious. Um, as you can see, it's got a great crust there. The smoke ring is perfect on the edges, on the inside. Meat is just a perfect level of tenderness, a little bite to it with the flavors just going so well, and a fantastic harmony with each other that really build and contribute to each other with all the different flavors that combine into one flavor of delicious. And then the sauce they serve it with goes most especially well to coat the meat and really contribute to bringing out the flavors of the meat along with a little extra spice kick that uh, extenuates all the best parts of some delicious barbecue like this. Balancing out all the other flavors and making an excellent combination. Which overall makes it for a winning combination of flavor sensation that I really love and I eat this as much as I can. So of uh, all the barbecue places in New Orleans, I eat at the joint more than all of the others combined, and I definitely get the burnt ends when they're available, but they're often sold out, and then I'll get a brisket. The brisket here is also really great. Central City also puts out a good brisket. Now, the homemade pickles here are also among some of the best in the city as well, so that's another bonus, because, hey, you need some pickles with your barbecue, right? So, uh, <laughs> now, uh, the brisket here is not quite up to the levels of the Texas Hill Country, so you're not going to get quite the uh, superhero levels of barbecue like a Franklin barbecue or some of the other fantastic Austin, Texas barbecues I've been to. 
However, in the New Orleans area, this is definitely one of your best bets. And the coleslaw actually is pretty darn good. It's uh, one of my favorite types. There's not any mayonnaise in it. It's more of a vinegar-based uh, slaw, so I like more of that uh, flavor in there instead of the mayonnaise. So I really like that. I just add a little extra of the vinegar sauce to it to really get it the way I perfectly like it. Of course, with no vinegar today, I'll just have to eat it the way it is. And then their potato salad is also really good. They have a little egg in there, and they leave a little skin on the potatoes, and then have a little uh, nice red onion in there that really makes for a great flavor combination here. So most of the sides here are pretty good, and then they have special sides that are generally a good thing to get. The macaroni and cheese, though, is probably my least favorite in the city. But right around the corner is Jack Dempsey's, which is some of my favorite mac and cheese in the city. So make sure you check out my review video on that place. Now here's some of the brisket that I got before the pandemic situation when I was sitting at the bar. And this is some really great stuff. It's got a really good smoke ring. They did a really good job on it. It's got a perfect level of some tenderness, some perfect level of fat in it to really add some flavor to it and moistness to the meat. And they've done a really good job of smoking it and perfect brisket part really great stuff and it just has a lot of great flavor in it and then here's some of the sauce I'm putting on it to give it a little extra uh, special flavor the way I like it now we'll just make another little slice of it so you can see what it looks like with the sauce on it and appreciate just how pretty and beautiful this is it's just a beautiful slice of brisket and it's also delicious perfectly cut and here's some burnt ends I ate the last time I was able to eat on the patio. And you can see they're perfectly cooked with one of their special sides of black eyed peas. The joint barbecue. So if you love barbecue too, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And hit that little bell to make sure you keep getting notifications. And thanks to everybody at the joint for so many years of amazing food and fantastic service. So, tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.